Holy Wire Mod here, and this is going to be tutorial 4A in the How to Build series, where we're going to be going over requested topic of EGP screens. So we're getting a one by one PHX played out, and let's go to the wire menu. And under visuals and screens, that's where the EGP screen is going to be. So put that right here. Now, EGP screen is similar to Council Screen in the sense that it has a limit to its X and Y values. The limit for X is 512 pixels and the limit for y is also 512 pixels so i'll be bringing that up in a little bit so let's spawn expression 2 chip get a debugger and look at the inputs and outputs so here we have inputs user and wire link user being an entity of course and the output is just user as you can see in the top left hand corner so we're going to be looking at wire link right now so let's go into expression 2 chip and get rid of all of this we only really need inputs here for this video. So we'll put EGP, that's gonna be our input and it's going to be of data type wire link. All right, so if we upload that and go on wire, now we can EGP, wire the um, expression two chips to EGP and now they can communicate. Okay, so let's start by drawing a box on the screen. So we can do that with EGP box and we are going to put the first value as an index, right? An index states which object you're referring to. So this is going to refer to the object, a box right here. So the maximum index, um, the first one started at one, it doesn't start at zero, and it goes all the way to a default value of 300. So you can have up to 300 objects right here. Okay, now the next one is the position. It's VEC2, which I mentioned how to, uh, what or how to use those in tutorial 4a in expression 2 series so let's set the position by saying 512 which is the maximum pixel range in the x direction divided by 2 which is going to set us halfway in the screen in the x direction and the maximum pixels in the y direction right here is 512 times one half and that's going to put us halfway in the screen in the y direction and this is positioning the center of the box to the center of the screen, not any of the corners of the box to the center of the screen. So you'll see that in a second as well. Now, this VEC2 is for the size in the X and Y direction. So we have 90 pixels in X and 90 pixels in Y. And lastly, we close with the parentheses. So here we go. As you can see, the box is in the middle of the screen. Now we can alter properties of this box by saying we want to change the angle so we can put the box on for example 45 degree angle like such but we need to reference what box we're talking about and that is going to be the first argument which is the index of the object that we're editing okay so we're editing box number one which is stored at index number one so as you can see now it is diagonal or you can change let's see the color so Right here, we put the index we're changing the color of, which is one. And let's say we want to make like a yellow looking box or something like that. So we'll put that and bam, we got a yellow box. All right, so lastly for this box, let's say we want to set something like the alpha. You can do that too as such uh, by getting the index and let's set the alpha to about half and I'll make it slightly more transparent. All right, so you can see it's a little bit darker now. All right. So you can also add text to the screen. So let's do that. So we can say EGP and then we'll say text. Now this counts as an object. So we're going to put this as our second object here. The next argument is the text. So we'll put some like sample string. And then we're going to have VEC2 and we're going to put it halfway in the screen. So another way you can represent this to make it easier is we're going to put it 50 percent so if you do a fraction like that you can move it 50 percent if you need to move it 40 percent you'll put 40 right here of 512 so i'll put 40 percent across the screen because that's the maximum resolution right so if you want 25 percent you do such 50 percent so that's just a easier way to look at it for those who are confused about this method and lastly we're going to put a y here so we're going to put this like 50 units down from the top of the screen so here is our sample string and have a slight little error, so let's fix that. And forgot to put a comma right here. All right, so there we go, we have sample string. So just like the box, we can make edits to the string as well. So 
let's do that. We're going to put EGP font. So we're going to change the font of the string. And we have different fonts available, um, a lot of which are listed on the wiki. So we have fonts like Arial, Core, Your New, and Times New Roman, and other fonts like that. So I'm going to put Times New Roman. And so we have this font. So now I change it. You see the font's different. And we can also change the size. You can do this with the box as well. Change the size. It's best to just do it in the initial command. All right, so the size we're going to put here to 50. So you have a text size of 50. And let's say we actually want to put this like 20% of the x direction. OK, no, that's not good. So we'll put maybe 23% or something like that. OK, that looks better. Now it's centered on the screen. OK, so we can also edit the color just like we could the box. So we'll put 2, and we'll put a vector of maybe 100, 100, and 255, and that'll give us a bluish color, just like that. Now, you can also create objects such as circles, which are nice, so we'll do that. And this is going to be our third object here, which is why we're putting a 3. And I'm going to put this in the center as well, so I'm just going to copy and paste this and save a little bit of time. And we're going to make the circle 20 by 20 pixels. OK. So we have our circle right in the middle. And one of the last objects I want to show you just for this introduction is a line. So that's object number four. So we're going to have VEC2. We're going to start the position of the line at the top left hand corner of the screen, which is represented by 0 by 0 pixels. And the end position of this line is going to be at the bottom right hand corner of the screen, which is 512 by 512 pixels. So it's going to create this um, line right across the screen, except let me put VEC2 right here. My apologies for the errors. So there we go. Now we have another line. If you want to do a crossing line from this side to this side, just a matter of editing values and adding another object. But anyway, Lastly, you can also, besides creating objects and editing these objects, you can also get values from these objects, which is very nice. So you can make a, let's see, get the size number of the second object. So just print that. So you see in my chat, it says 50. That's the object of the second object, which is the string, the sample string right there. Or we can get something like the um, angle of an object. So EGP, and then we'll EGP angle, just like this one. And that's actually going to return the angle, which is pretty interesting that you can use it uh, in a string like this or standalone like this to set the angle. So as you can see, we have a 45 degree angle for the box, which is object one. And also, let us get one more thing just for the sake of getting this in your head. Let's get the position. Oh, and also, remember I'm using um, concatenation, which is from another expression tutorial, tutorial 7a strings, where we also, that would be useful for this as well, or understanding this if you're a little confused about that. So we have EGP position. We'll do that for the fourth object which is a line, and we're going to say to string, which is something I cover in expression to tutorial 7b. And then we just do that, and let's get the position right there. So we have 0, 0, and that's going to be the initial position of the line at the top left-hand corner. So anyway, that's going to be a basic introduction about EGP. I hope that makes everything clear, and I will see you in the next tutorial.